I know you fear us. Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. Do not hide behind the champion. He has no role in this. It would be better if you both calmed down before this gets violent. I should remain calm while a mage provokes an uprising. I think not. Sounds like you two have quite the little argument going. This is not an argument. It's treason. I don't need anyone speaking for me, Knight Commander. Is that so? I think the Champion's views would be appreciated. Or do you fear what he has to say? I fear nothing. My only interest here is in keeping order and protecting the innocent. What are you trying to do here? Cause a rebellion? The people of this city need to know what is really happening. And then what? They tear down the gallows with pitchforks and torches? That would be better? It cannot be worse. Your refusal to listen to reason leaves me no choice. What I refuse to listen to are excuses. Perhaps you are ill-fit to your position if you cannot understand this. You're hardly receptive to whatever gets in your way. And I become less receptive each moment this nonsense continues. Threatening each other isn't going to help matters. And what should I do instead? Allow this to continue? Whatever the cause, it does not justify your actions. Then lock me up if what I've done is so wrong. She's going to do it anyway. Rogue mages are constantly threatening the city. Exactly. Would you have us do nothing in response? I would have you not paint us all with the same brush. Not all mages are waiting for the opportunity to wreak havoc. You know as well as I that temptation preys on every mage, no matter how noble their intentions. You hear this, yes? She would lock you up too if she were able. The champion saved this city, unlike some who threaten it with their misguided outrage. You push us into desperate acts and then use that as justification to press even further. The Templars are only making the problem worse. I will not sacrifice the well-being of innocence for the sake of a few mages. I will not. Fighting her at every step has not improved things, First Enchanter. I am through trying to help her. She will not be helped. This argument isn't helping matters. No, it's not. Stand aside if you will not see what is right here. The First Enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city. The city? I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Dumar failed. And if not, will the Templars rule Kirkwall forever? We will not stand idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chantry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, Mage. The First Enchanter is right. You should not be ruling Kirkwall. And yet I shall continue, until such a time as the city is safe. Do you see? She is incapable of reason! If Kirkwall wants Meredith to step down, they'll tell her to. Are you mad? They fear her. Everyone fears her. If it will keep the peace, I will step in. That is not going to happen. Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? How well did you guard your own mother? Did she not die at a blood mage's hands? You're right. We are hardly the only ones to bear that grief. Precisely. Why don't you just stab me in the back while you're at it? Cold corpses speak louder than abstract freedoms, do they not? As long as that's true, Kirkwall needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. No matter what, Knight Commander, he has a point. Face the truth, Knight Commander. You are done. That is for me to decide. No one else. This is the wrong way to go about it, First Enchanter. Justice shall be tempered by mercy. 
That has never been your code. I will not submit to this. This won't be resolved here. We need to sit down and work it out. You are naive, champion. You will find that not everyone bows to your will, Knight Commander. My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. Your Grace! He should be clapped in irons! Made an example of! That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down, like a good girl. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... You're the Grand Cleric. Aren't you in charge of the Templars and Circle? Oh my. You have quite the estimation of my abilities. Short of putting those two in cells, I doubt anything will keep them from each other. Sadly true. Gentle people of Kirkwall, return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, Champion. I will have the tower searched, top to bottom! You cannot do that! You have no right! I have every right! You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city! Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption! Do not trifle with me, mage! My patience is at an end! A wonder that I never saw it begin! Why are you fighting again? Well, look who decided to show up. You would have to get involved. Good, you found us. The champion will not stop me. The people deserve to know just what you've done. This needs to stop. This does not involve you, champion. I called him here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. Is there any truth to what she's saying? These are only her latest accusations, nothing more. And what if she does not find what she's looking for? How much further will she go to root out something that isn't there? The Champion knows better than anyone how deep the Circle's corruption goes. I must find the source. You both set quite the example for your people. You know that. What other option do we have? Shall we look the other way? Tell the poor victims of a possessed mage that we meant no harm? Fighting Meredith won't help matters. Is that all it's ever going to be? Are we mages to be forever persecuted for being what we are? The mere act of defending ourselves? Confirmation of our guilt? Tell me, champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. Some of us want exactly what you want, Meredith. We're not the enemy. I have seen that many times over. And we must fight such evil, but you cannot assume it exists in us all. They're not the only ones that lie and seek power. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it. But we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. 
I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminals. While those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Maybe she wasn't there. M maybe she made it out. Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I remove the chance of compromise. Because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the Circle is to be executed. Immediately! The Circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her! Help us stop this madness! And I demand you stand with us! Even you must see that this outrage cannot be tolerated. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. Do you realize what you started here? I do. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you earlier. The Circle is an injustice. In many places beyond Kirkwall, the world needs to see. Elthina is not the Circle. She was a good woman, and you murdered her! You fool! You've doomed us all! We were already doomed. A quick death now, or a slow one later. I'd rather die fighting. You're a murderer. The Grand Cleric, the mages, their blood is on your hands. I know. You may have turned everyone against the mages now. Was anyone ever with us? I... could have... stopped you. No. This had to happen. Have you been lurking here for the past three years? I thought to leave. But the need here was too great. I have stayed out of your path, champion. You made it clear there was no place for me on it. Was... that... Why you needed me to distract the Grand Cleric. This... This is what you tried to trick me into doing. And you went along with him. If you knew what I was doing, you would have felt honor bound to stop me. I couldn't take that chance. The Circle does more harm than good. This... is chaos. We must help the Knight Commander. No. This wasn't their fault. You can't possibly want the slaughter of innocent people, can you? It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. I won't let her slaughter all of you. But what of Anders? Hawk, if you do this, I don't know if I can follow. And so you would defend these mages after all they have done? Throw yourself at a hopeless cause? You sure about this? Even you might not win this fight. I know we can do this. I believe in you, Hawk. Ah, oh, shit. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Isabella? See reason, brother. I don't want to fight you. Think carefully, champion. Stand with them and you share their fate. I'm not helping you, Meredith. Thank the Maker. No, I won't fight to save these mages. Not for you, not for anyone. I see what you are trying to do, and my place... ...is with you. I knew I could count on you. It is a mistake, but I won't abandon you. 
I'm sorry, but my duty is clear. I cannot support you in this. You are a fool, champion. Kill them all! I will rouse the rest of the Order! Go! Get to the gallows before it's too late! I don't want to get involved in this. You are already involved. You are the champion of Kirkwall. Do your duty, or fall with the other apostates. It seems I have no choice but to side with you. Your first act must be to execute this traitor. She is a monster. If you help her, you become one as well. It's unfortunate, but it's the only way. The mages cannot hide behind their rights when they endanger so many. Crushing the rebels, are we? How dare they wish for freedom? You can't side with her. Please. I can't support this. Champion, you have to know Meredith will turn against you as well. I'm not defending you, Orsino. Very wise. Are you sure about this? You know she's going to murder people whose only crime was being born a mage. Anders condemned the Circle already. The Grand Cleric was beloved by the entire city. Either the Templars annul the Circle, or the citizens of Kirkwall will riot and murder the mages themselves. All we can do now is try to keep casualties to a minimum. I suppose... you're right. This decision was taken out of our hands. Don't do this. Don't make me choose between my people and my family. Then... You've made your decision, and I'm making mine. Stop them! I will warn the others! Gather our forces! We will deal with this. So it's come to this. I don't know if we can win this war, Champion, but... Thank you. I will leave your friend for you to deal with. I must return to the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. Did that spirit tell you to do this? No. When we merged, he ceased to be. We are one now. I can no more ignore the injustice of the Circle than he could. So you start a massacre to prove a point? I'm not proving a point. I'm changing a world. You've never been part of the Circle. I have. The people fear what we can do. But to use that fear to bludgeon us into submission is wrong. And they do it with our blessing. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. I might have understood if you'd only told me. You condone this. The brutal death of an innocent woman of faith. Someone you knew. Who trusted you. I wanted to tell you. But what if you stopped me? Or worse, what if you wanted to help? I couldn't let you do that. The world needs to see this. Then we can all stop pretending the circle is a solution. You really think this is the answer? Things can't stay as they are. So it's up to you to decide how things should be. It's obvious how things shouldn't be. Opinions. If I'd been in that chantry today, would you be waffling? You know what must be done. Bold plan. Well, I thought so. Belief is no excuse. Sincerity does not justify this. He should come with us. Do what he can to put things right. I think I'm sick of mages and Templars. Whatever you do, just do it. Help me defend the mages. You mean... stay with you? I didn't think you'd let me. But if you do, I'll fight the Templars. Damned right I will. No! You cannot let this abomination walk free. He dies, or I am returning to Starkhaven. And I will bring such an army with me on my return that there'll be nothing left of Kirkwall for these Maleficarum to rule. Do not interfere, Sebastian. 
I will not fight you, Hawk. My death now would serve nothing. I will return to Starkhaven, but... I swear to you, I will come back and find your precious Anders. I will teach him what true justice is. Thank you for my life. I'll try not to make such a mess of it this time. How invigorating. We'd all best get to the gallows. And quick. It's going to be quite a show. You have to pay for what you've done. I know. The sooner I die, the sooner my name lives on to inspire generations. It will never be enough, but it's a start. For what it's worth, I'm glad it's you. It was nice to be happy. For a while. He's right. The Grand Cleric deserves justice. Yes. I would not deny anyone's right to that. Vengeance took me over. I couldn't stop him. Justice once told me that demons are just spirits perverted by their desires. I made my friend a demon. And he did this. Kill me now before there is nothing left of me. I know you would have changed it if you could. But I have proven I cannot. If I couldn't control vengeance now, I never will. I need to die. Help me restore order. Fight with the Templars. Against the Circle. Perhaps that is the only way to make this right. Stop this war before it's too late. If you think that is a better atonement than my death, I am with you for so long as I can maintain my grip on the monster inside me. Fight with the Templars? Against the Circle? No. You can't ask me to do that. I'd rather die. Quickly! Quickly! First Enchanter! Stay back! I don't want to fight you! And here you are! Let us speak, Meredith, before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect! I will entertain a surrender. Nothing more. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. The time for talking is done. I agree. Evidently so. We can still prevent this, before you both tear Kirkwall apart. You heard her. She's wanted this all along. It is already torn apart. We cannot divert from our path. I was kind of hoping for a happy ending. I doubt we'll be seeing that. That seems unlikely. Are you really gonna kill these mages? And me with them? You're not part of the Circle. You don't need to defend them. Maybe you're right. You would abandon us? Your brothers and sisters in arms? Your own people? This is my friend. He is my people now. You made your choice, Meryl. As have you. I'm sorry, Meryl. This is how it has to be. Sadly, yes. And me? Will you also fight your own sister? You've made it clear that I mean nothing to you. It's not like that. I... You tell me. I didn't want it to come to this. I... Stay strong, child. We must make a stand together, or we are all lost. I... 
Yes, First Enchanter. You're forcing my hand, Hawk. I didn't want it to come to this. If you switch sides, we could pretend we put a spell on you. You are so certain. Captain Aveline, you have a duty to keep order. Has it been served so far, Knight Commander? I think not. Sorry, Aveline. This is how it has to be. I suppose so. You realize this is a cause you cannot hope to win. Sorry, Fenris. Some causes are worth fighting for. I agree. I suppose dying with you at my side is too much to ask. Yes, it is. Is that all you want? To win? You will never understand what I want. We'll see about that. Then I will meet you on the field of battle. I thought freedom from slavery meant something to you. It does. That is why I oppose what these mages hope to become. I, uh... I have changed my mind, human. I will stand with my friend. As you wish. I did not ask for your assistance. I suppose I should have expected no less from you, champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. And what about me? Are you really going to fight your own brother? I could ask you the same question, Carver. This isn't what I want. I... Sir Carver, I suggest you remember our purpose. I... Yes, Knight Commander. I suppose I should have expected no less from you, Champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. Let me tell you what is about to happen. We have the unenviable task of entering the gallows and eliminating every mage we find within. You must harden your heart. The magic within them is a disease that, if left unchecked, will spread and fester. We will do what we must. Make her have mercy on their souls. Prepare for the attack. Let me know when you are ready, champion. I assume you are ready, champion? What will you do once the mages are dead? This is not the first time the right of annulment has ever been invoked. We will do as others have done before us. Start again. Kirkwall will be rebuilt, stronger than before. And the Circle will know fear. This has been a long time coming. I am eager to begin. To slaughter the entire Circle? Oh, sure. Good. You will need to give orders to your companions. Do that, and the attack may begin. Carver, watch and keep us from being overwhelmed. Got it. You know what we face. The mages in there, they have risked everything. All of us. That's not a danger I can ignore. You want peace in Kirkwall? This is where we create it. We didn't want this. The mages, they're our brothers and sisters. It's sad, but still necessary. Kirkwall needs us to set this right. We need order, or we lose ourselves. It's the only choice we have. Champion, the attack is about to begin. Have mercy, we beg you. Do whatever you want with us, but let us live. No! This circle is beyond redemption. Knight Commander, surely the right of annulment requires something more... It requires my word, Cullen. Do as I've commanded. Champion, will you not defend us? Must we all be slaughtered for the actions of a few? I want to hear what the Knight Captain has to say. I... The right has always been a last resort, when every mage involved was beyond salvation. The situation was far more dire in Ferelden's circle. And yet many mages were saved. We could still do as much here. Objection noted, Captain. Maybe they can answer some questions. I, I think the first enchanter is still in the tower. 
He said he had a plan, something that would stop you. Demons? Or something worse? I don't know. We wanted nothing to do with it, so we ran. Please, help us. We've done nothing wrong. Is there a way to tell if they're blood mages? There is not. But they haven't resorted to it, even to save their own lives. Perhaps if we watch them carefully, we... And if they hope to escape by playing innocent, will you accept that responsibility, Cullen? Yes. I believe that's what being a Templar is about. And I say we are here to protect the people. We must be judges, jailers, and even executioners. We're here to prevent a crisis, not raise everything in our path. Listen to the champion. I'm not the head of the Templars. Indeed. Since when do you look to the champion for orders, Captain? Carry out the sentence. Our hands are tied. Perhaps you're right. Do as the champion commands. Just as I suspected all along. Willing sacrifices! Men and women who would have died at your hands anyhow. <laughs> the irony is that until this very moment, I have never used blood magic. Do you take me for a fool? One does not summon such a ritual from thin air. The right belonged to Quentin, a man the champion is familiar with. I put aside his research as too dangerous. But things have changed. You were working with that murderer. I knew about him. I kept his existence secret because I didn't want to give Meredith more ammunition against us. I see now I needn't have bothered. But you could have stopped him. You could have saved her. I'm sorry, my dear. I didn't know the extent of his derangement until it was too late. This doesn't exactly support your claim of innocence, does it? Look around you, champion. I am well past caring. You've taken this too far. Yes, I'm the one who's taken it too far. It's not too late to stop this first enchanter. Not too late? Look around you. Look at what we've become. The Maker has guided us here to end your evil, Orsino. The Maker has guided you all to your deaths. No, you said he wouldn't be hurt. I'm sorry, child. But true justice demands sacrifice from us all. Such is the curse that you carry, difficult as it may be to accept. You? Your insanity drove him to this. I will not argue with you, mage. My purpose here is clear. And I'm just one more abomination to be dealt with. Yes, I see what comes next. Back away from her, Meredith. I see. Have it your way, then. I will meet you in the courtyard, champion. Thank you. I don't know if I deserve your help. You think I'd let her cut down my own sister? Do what you have to, Meredith. I hope this was all worth it, brother. <sighs> It is over. I will make sure the keep is secure. 
Meet me in the courtyard, champion. What a waste. Let's go. I don't want to stay here a minute longer. We'd best get out before they lock the doors. <sighs> My fellow mages, heed me. The Templars will come. For all our power, we cannot defeat such an army. There is only one option for us all. Survive. Do not submit. Do not fall on your knees before them. Get out of Kirkwall. Spread word to the other circles. They will not get away with this. Prepare your people, champion, and then speak with me. If we have any chance of surviving, it will be with your help. Are you prepared, champion? I believe the battle is almost upon us. You don't believe there's a chance of winning this fight? With you on our side? Perhaps. But even if we win, what then? More Templars would come, with even larger armies. We are apostates now. Our only hope lies in the circles elsewhere in Thedas. They could rise up with us against this injustice. I assure you, however, we will find sympathy nowhere else. We will defend you as best we can. I am relieved to hear it. You will need to give orders to your companions, and I will do the same for my people. And where do you want me? Shall I cheer you on? I want to help as well, even if I'm not fighting at your side. So what shall the rest of us do? I should be at your side, Hawk. You got a plan for the rest of us? I'd like to help as well. I'm at your service, Hawk. Where do you want me? Sebastian, I need you somewhere with a good vantage. Cover us while we move in. May the Maker favor us now. What about me? What should I do? We could use some healing or any other spells you can offer. I'll try to keep you in sight then. Merrill, attack from a distance. Stay out of the fight as much as you can. I will. Aveline, charge in whenever you see an opening. Very well. Fenris, I want you to stay close. Help out when you can. As you wish. Isabella, I want you to fight from stealth. Keep them confused. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Varric, stay out of sight and use your crossbow. Bianca's ready and willing. Bethany, keep out of the fray and use your spells at a distance. I'll try. You know what the Templars believe. What they're afraid of. But that's their burden, not ours. They are not taking the life I built. They don't get to decide how this ends. We do. We're cornered. The Templars know it. You know it. But this is bigger than their hate, their fear. They've come to take your lives. And we are saying no. We didn't want this. But sometimes... Sometimes you just have to stand. So this is it. Some of you are worried. Maybe I am too, but I'm not staying long enough to find out. What I know is that I don't like being cornered, and I can fight harder scared than they can angry. We're getting out, and I'm buying when we do. Champion, it is beginning. drown us as infants. Why wait? Why give us the illusion of hope? First Enchanter, we need to. I refuse to keep running. I won't wait for her to kill me. I hope you aren't giving up without taking a shot at Meredith. I am not giving up. I am giving in. Meredith will die long before you do. If only I could believe that. This is not helping, First Enchanter. 
I am tired of helping as well. Quentin's research was too evil, too dangerous, so I put it aside. But I see now there is no other way. Meredith expects blood magic, then I will give it to her. Make her help us all. Look at all this. Magic is a cancer in the heart of our land. Just as it was in the time of Andraste. And like her, we are left with no choice but to purify it with fire and blood. And me? Have you forgotten I use magic as well? I have not. You almost sound as if you're happy to do it. Happy? I would prefer we lived in a world without such sickness, where such madness is unnecessary. But we do not. Even this battle is not yet over. Strange way to treat a sick patient. Sometimes a limb must be amputated to save a life. Unpleasant, but necessary. And my surgery here is not yet done. You got what you wanted. It's done. Not quite. I am beginning to wonder just how large your part in all this actually was. A refugee come to our city with an apostate sister, gathering power and influence without any accounting. An apostate come into our city, gathering power and influence. A sudden hero of the people. How can I trust that the mighty champion of Kirkwall is not a worse threat to this city than the Circle? If you want to see a threat to this city, look in the mirror. <laughs> Just the sort of misdirection I would expect from you. Is helping you destroy the Circle not proof enough? Proof of what? Your lies. Proof that you are more clever even than Orsino. And here we are, champion. At long last. I imagine you've wanted to be rid of me for some time. I bear you no ill will. You've done this to yourself. You are no mage. But in supporting them, you've elected to share their fate. I was afraid you were going to let everyone else do your fighting. Not at all. I am here to see order restored. What happens to you now is your own doing. You'll pay for what you've done here. I will be rewarded for what I've done here. In this world and the next. I have done nothing but perform my duty. What happens to you now is your own doing. The people of Kirkwall will mourn your loss. But I will tell them you died battling the mages. A righteous cause. Knight Commander. I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. But this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path! Andraste's dimpled butt cheeks. You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The Dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. The idol poisoned Bartrand's mind in the end. He was weak, whereas I am not. All of you, I want him dead! No, I won't kill my brother for you. You dare! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down! I relieve you of your command. My own knight captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. And me. Traitors! I'll have both your heads! She's clearly lost her mind. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. Blessed 
Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked, and do not falter! I will not be defeated! Make her hate your humble